She's doing amazing. Mm, that ain't it, that ain't it. Y'all, it has been a while. And this is what I hate when they say, really cool because you can do a consultation online that way they can see what your problem areas are and you'll actually have somebody looking in on your face because you're gonna actually send in pictures and stuff of your problem areas and they'll design you a treatment plan that can help you so I did the consultation I sent in my problem areas to them I, did, I took pictures and I don't really struggle with acne. Like I might have your occasional like period bump. It's rare that my face breaks out like that. So the only time is during like my cycle. But my problem area is becoming my chin. And I never thought I would have this skin issue, but I grow chin hair. And I don't know why, I just do. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm noticing that I'm getting more of them. So when I do my regular like facial routine every month where I get rid of my peach buzz and all that stuff I do like a full on full blown skincare routine. I'll pluck the hairs <laughs> and sometimes I may get like a bump down here just like something small but I've noticed I've started to get some hyperpigmentation down here just some marks and stuff like that. I don't really even know why or how because I don't pick at my chin. This is what I'm using. They prescribed me a specific, unique treatment plan. I have to use a half a pump of this at nighttime. And then also they sent over this SPF 43. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen. Sunscreen is always good for your skin. But this is super hydrating. It's lightweight, but it's super hydrating. And I absolutely love it for my skin. Half a pump, so it's not much. And look, it just leaves my face like super glow. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like, look at my skin. It just looks super glowy and just, yeah. I love this stuff. Like, my face looks so nice and refreshed. Yeah, I'm super excited to see um, the results. So, if you guys want to try it out, be sure to use my code at Face Over Matter. And just do the consultation and just see what type of information they have for you. That's what I really liked about the whole process and the consultation is that I got to pick a doctor and... Um, I got a message from them um, regarding my skin. So it made it really personable and I love that. And I don't know, it just made me more excited about my skincare regimen. But I just wanna let you guys know about that before we got started in today's vlog. I kind of already spoiled part of the vlog, but it is okay. I love it. I love it. Good morning, happy Saturday, everybody. Got Avery girl up here with me bouncing around. But I did my hair. Come here, Avery, and show them your haircut. Come here, Avery. Show them your haircut, mama. Look, Kimmy, look at your haircut, Bookie. Look at the girl. Look at her haircut, she's so fluffy. Good morning, boo boops. Good morning, and you're so fluffy and clean. Good morning. Tell them good morning. She's doing amazing, as y'all can see. She's jumping on me like I'm the jungle gym. But I ended up doing my hair. I'm gonna have to like tighten my bun. My bun is about to fall off, but I braided my hair last night because <laughs> I, <was clears throat> I was working with a brand. So when y'all see this pop up on the socials, just know that's who I worked with. Get my hair situated, which is a brand I've worked with before in the past. They are a trusted brand for your hair. You have not been using them. What are you doing? So I will I'll update you guys on that very soon. Today is Monday, November the 7th, and I'm feeling just refreshed this morning. I decided to sit out on the gym today just because I have some deadlines and some stuff I wanted to finish and get submitted. 
So I feel like the gym was gonna kind of throw me back a little bit, but I'll probably end up going running a little bit later. I am just, when I say I'm at peace, when I say, I'm gonna start this vlog off real strong. Prayer works. Prayer work and prayer is not, prayer really does work and it's very, and I see why the Bible talks about, you know, pray without ceasing, you know, for us to continue to commune and to talk to God and all those things. And when I tell you, and to and, and be real with God, and I'm gonna hit y'all with the, I don't know who needs to hear this but no seriously I don't know who because I just feel compelled to say this as soon as I cut the camera on but when you're praying let God have it you know I was reading in the Bible yesterday like don't pray like the pagans do and try and thinking they're just gonna be heard for their many words I'm taking that as pray to God on the realest level that you can that you can and what I mean by realest level I mean don't try to seem like you I don't know I don't know how to put the words like don't don't just try to pray like you just know it all like really get real with God you know God is the person that you can be your realest most raw self with you know sometimes when trying to talk to friends or family you might tell them everything but every nitty grit detail you may leave out a few things just because like all right that part's probably not important or i ain't gonna tell them this you know that they might just look at me crazy you know you might leave out little details but with god i had a moment this morning where i was just kind of feeling a little overwhelmed and i'm like it's early in the morning it's like six o'clock like i can't be feeling like that early in the morning so i got up and i cut on my worship music this is this has been on for like an hour and 30 something minutes <laughs> i'll link this down below but i've just had this playing and um and it really was just setting the tone for the day i had, I had cut on this other one it was like this morning coffee jazz coffee 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 shop music um but i was like mm -mm -mm, that ain't it that ain't it not yet not yet i was like i need something a little more and i cut that on and i read the word a little bit and i was just like before i even start my day like god i need to get this off and I really feel like sometimes we feel that, or I'll speak for myself, sometimes I can feel that like, all right, God, like what I'm feeling is not really even worth praying about because it ain't that crazy. It's just, I'm just having a moment or, um, or I'm not going to bother God with these emotions because there's someone who needs God more than I do in this moment. But on the contrary, the reason why that is a lie from the pits of hell is because God is omnipresent for a reason. He's all knowing, he's everywhere at the same time, can tend to everybody who needs him at the same time. And I feel like for our human brain trying to wrap around that is is just like, what? What are you talking about? But no, that's the God we serve, Jesus Christ. That's who we serve. He can be everywhere. Because, and I say that's a lot from the pits of hell in terms of thinking your emotions aren't, what you're going through isn't tragic or chaotic enough to give to God. Like, no, give God the smallest of things and the biggest of things give it all to him so in this moment yes what i was feeling may not be that big on a scale from one to ten it might not be at the highest level of chaos but it's still something that's affecting me and my mood and my my ability to get through the day and work and stuff like that so that is big that is big so i was just like you know what let me pray let me get into prayer and god released some things out of me in prayer and i'm gonna tell y'all yes prayer time is very intimate and your prayer life how you handle God, like that's your business. But I really feel like God has given me a platform to share certain things sometimes. So I don't mind sharing this with you guys. So I started praying and I'll be honest with you, my prayer started out like God, you know, reverencing God, acknowledging God and who he is, saying things like, God, you are holy. God, you are perfect. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for your unfailing love. Like just making that, um, that adoration and that acknowledgement to him. I'm just like, you know what, God? This is my issue. And I was literally getting ready to skip over the, and which that I'm not gonna share, but I was literally getting ready to skip over this like very like little detail that something that had been bothering me. I was getting ready to skip over that because in my mind, I'm like, it's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal. It's gonna pass, blah, blah, blah. But in that moment, I could just feel God saying, say it, get it out. Because in that moment, you're going to acknowledge and get to the root of what it is you're feeling or I, or God can't get to the root of it until I acknowledge it. So, 
yes, God already knew what I was going to pray about. God already knew what I was going to say. God already knew about that intricate thought and the thing that was bothering me, but God needed me to say it. God wanted me to say it, not for him, but for me. So when I said it, in that moment, I was like, okay. There was so much of a freeing moment for me when I mentioned to God what I said. I could literally feel the peace of God come over me and it be handled. God's like, I got it, it's done. Let that worry, like that's literally nothing you have to worry about. Like that's what I got out of prayer today. Like this thing, <laughs> he's like, that's what you don't have to worry about. That's the one thing you don't have to worry about. And in that, I'm like, God, thank you because it was giving me anxiety. It was making me overthink. It was making me worry. It was making me do a lot of things. And I'm like, you know what? Thank you, Lord. I'm going to finish some work. When I tell y'all, I do not want to put any makeup on my face. And let's be real, I really don't have to, but you know, that'll probably just like spruce up the whole shebang. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna put some makeup on. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that. And then I have something else I have to shoot for today. And then once I get that done, hopefully I'll have that done by one. Mm, actually, I'm gonna say by like 12, 15, just because I have a doctor's appointment at 1 15. So I wanna make sure I have time to eat something and then go over there for my appointment. I'm gonna go put on some makeup. Probably just watch some Parkers or something while I do that. I'll be back when I have my makeup. Three, two, one. And we're back. Y'all, it has been a while. It has been a while since I have really done something to my face. I'm here for it all. So now that I'm back, um, so I just have to finish editing the last part to my video and then I'll start filming for the other one. Soon I'm gonna have to stop and go get me some breakfast because I have yet to eat anything. I haven't put on any lashes. I kind of feel like I messed up this eye, but I don't care. <laughs> I need some lashes on. I feel like a little naked move it. And my outfit ain't even full. I know y'all can see in my little mirror. I got on shorts right now. So anyway, but this is the look. I absolutely love this green sweater. It's from H&M. I just think the color is just everything. I've had it for like almost a year now. Such a good sweater. Really good sweater. I'm going to finish up the last little bit of the video so I can get this submitted. So before my managers be like, um, where's the content? So let me do that real quick. I'll be back. All right, you guys, I am in the studio. Just got back from the doctors, but I wanted to come over here and do a couple of things. What is this on my head? I don't know. Anyway, this is a little outfit for today. I think it's super cute. A little outfit today. I got this from like a PR package joint from Maverick City. So shout out to Maverick City for this. These are Aritzia leggings from the Oh, I forgot. It's like true action line, Nike socks, and of course my um, Rain Cloud New Balances, the 9060s. I could easily link the ones from GOAT, but just go to GOAT.com, G-O-A-T. I bought them through GOAT. And I bought them, um, I got a man size. I'm a seven, so I got a five and a half. And they true to size, like they fit wonderful i have on nike socks and i actually have like a little bit of room so honestly they're perfect so definitely true to size like i said i just filmed like a little tiktok well not a tiktok but like a a little reel i wanted to do that <sighs> um and that's pretty much i wanted to come over here and do today my head is hurting a little bit so i know i wanted to um why is my voice shaky <laughs> i know i wanted to um come over here for a few things i have a strong feeling that these might be a little big now, if it is, I'm not tripping because I can always use that chair somewhere else. And like I said, for me, I want every piece of furniture in here, every section, if I can help it to be a functional situation. So yeah, so with that being said, that means each section, so from this area to the backdrop area to even this wall, I want to be functional. This wall, I want to be functional. This is gonna be such a nice chair. But like I said, I still wanna be able to like move stuff. And if it is too much furniture, I can always use that furniture elsewhere. Um, so the only thing right now I'm trying to work out is how to design this little area right here. This, like I said, I want it to be the coffee station. So I'm trying to figure that out. And then back here, um, like I said, I'm getting rid of this. So this is gonna go away. And honestly, this, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this. I don't know yet. Um, she might come home because I like her that much. She just might come home with me 
because like I said, I am redoing my room as well. I'm moving slowly with my room just because my off my studio is like my priority right now. I'm not gung ho about changing my bedroom. I just know it's something that's on the list. I forgot how low this window actually comes because honestly, I would have rather have it here, but I'm probably gonna put the wall, the leaning wall shelf here, like just in the cut. That's why it's like, if you need a computer, it'll be back there, but it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, I'm gonna get rid of this. And that way, this can still be a functional area. You feel what I'm saying? For what I'm using the studio for, it's not gonna make sense for me to have photos of like my family, if that makes sense. So I thought about putting one right here. The only thing with this is like it's a black frame, so I feel like it kind of takes away a little bit, but it could work. I could do like a side by side situation or up and down, I could do that. So the one that I already put in a frame of my mom, my sister and I, this one, I think I can take this one home and use this for something. What's up you guys, I am back home. I am back home and I am getting ready to open up a new box. Hold on. Oh, back here. Uh, I'm getting ready to open up a new box of HelloFresh. I think I still have one more meal from my last box, but I do the subscription y'all, so. All I, have, all I know is this is this meal. We have this one. We have Italian chicken and pepper sandals, French fries. Then I have sweet potatoes with firecracker meatballs on a bed of rice. Oh no, y'all. <laughs> I'll be too picky sometimes. Also, if you ever order from HelloFresh, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you check up under the ice, the ice packs. I really wanna try these firecracker meatballs. I'm not gonna hold you. I think I'm gonna make that. I did not think I was gonna go that route, but I think I'm gonna try the firecracker meatballs. <sighs> so let's cook something, cause I'm hungry. I have to show y'all these crackers. Lord have mercy. I got them from the Fresh Market, but these are Entertainer, original crackers. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Carbs, who's counting? Shout out to Beauty Bakery for this PR package. Super cute. We got blending. Oh, these are the beauty blenders. Ooh, better not, better not bitter flower. What is this? Oh, setting powder. Oh, I was, I had did like a survey like some months ago, y'all. I low-key forgot about this PR package was coming. But thank you so much, Beauty Bakery, for thinking of me. I appreciate it. I'm actually excited about these, um, these little eggs. Okay, Beauty Bakery. I wanna show y'all the little eggs real quick that they sent. Look, it comes in like this, I don't know, like egg carton, that's so cute. Okay, let's open them up. Some of them are stuck to the top. Oh, they sent your girl a bunch of them. And we love the black ones, uh, thank y'all. Cute little, um, cute little blending eggs. Literally, they're all the same, they're all black. Super cute. If I wasn't so busy tomorrow, I would literally just have like a makeup day and just play around in makeup, which I could have one tomorrow, like a little bit, not that long. But this is, ooh, look at that, y'all. I got the shade Oat, which is the transparent shade. Oh, and then they sent the waffle things. This, um, what? These are lipsticks. All right, so one is called Waffle Gato, and one is called Waffle Brownie. Ooh. I don't wanna rip up the packaging, but I just like looking at the actual lipsticks. Also, you guys, I'm working on, I was commenting back to some of you guys this morning, but I'm working on an actual um, Gel X tutorial video for you guys on how I do my Gel X sets. Listen, I'm gonna give y'all the disclaimer now. Y'all already know I'm not a professional. I'm not licensed to do that. So please take what I say with a grain of salt. Do your own research because I seen this girl on TikTok that broke her nail or something and it got infected really, really, really bad. I don't know why it got infected really bad. It might not have anything to do with the nails, but I just felt the need to say that because I don't want y'all thinking, you know, I didn't mess around and made y'all's finger fall off. Okay, so this is waffle brownie and this is a nice brown shade. Ooh. Let me zoom in, get some zoom in action for y'all. Look at that. Super, super nice. I low-key wanna put some on. All right, and then this one, like I said, is called Waffle Gato. And I like this one because it's like a peachy. I feel like this one would be really, really beautiful up against like a, 
a nice brown lip liner. Y'all already know what lip liner I'm talking about. But there are some other really, really, really good sponges um, that aren't as much, like e.l.f. e.l.f. has a really good one that's literally like $6, hands down, 10 out of 10. Um, Thrive Cosmetics has one. I'm not even sure what theirs run for. Um, who else? Dag on Real Techniques has good sponges. Um, I know I'm missing one. I know I am, and it'll probably come back to me later. But again, there are handfuls of other good um, sponges. Nothing against, you know, Beauty Blender or nothing like that, because that's my girl. I'm gonna still use her. Anyway, you guys, so I just, um, I'm wrapping up currently a campaign. I'm working with Shea Moisture, which is really cool. Um, we're doing our wave one, so I have and something else I have to film for them a little bit later on. It was just really, really good. So it just took me back using their stuff. So my hair feels really good. It smells so good. So it just feels really refreshed. I'm getting my hair colored tomorrow. So it was good for me to go ahead and wash it and love on it a little bit. I low-key wish they would have sent me their, um, it's their coconut and hibiscus um, hair mask. You mix that hair, hear me out. You use that mask with, um, coconut or like regular coconut oil like and heat it up and put it in your hair yeah yeah what is up you guys good morning grace and peace I am headed out um, I'm going to the dentist this morning to get me a teeth cleaning and my teeth whitened so that's gonna be exciting and then I'm gonna go get my hair done. I'm getting my hair color today, finally. Um, I know my last hair appointment you guys seen. I couldn't get it done, unfortunately, because she wanted to do another treatment in my hair, which I honestly believe, or which I know for a fact was the best route because um, just the way my hair has been here lately, you know. But then on top of that, I did a hair mask last night and the, um, I barely had any shedding and stuff, so that was really cool. But, moving along, I'm about to get some gas real quick because my dentist is back home. It's like an hour from where I live. So, I have to drive a little ways. I need some gas, I got 14 miles in my gas tank. So, let me get some gas real quick, I'll be right back. peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you it is a new day for me got my teeth whitened yesterday and my teeth have been a little sensitive that it feels a lot better than yesterday yesterday i was it was not a good a good time um i'm getting ready to brush my teeth and i want to show you guys what i'm using one second what they told me to use is this is what i'm using i had to use this for about they said use for five to seven days before you get your teeth bleached. I use it for like a week and some change. <laughs> I'm doing the most 
with these earrings on right now, so I'm gonna take them off. Um, but I am headed to my studio. Let the Wi-Fi guy in, and this is what I hate when they say, when they do the whole interval thing. I actually hate that because you you don't know exactly when they're gonna be there. They don't give you like an update, and because this is not like a at home setup, this is my office setup. I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be there, you know, like I am at home. So, with that being said, I have to rush now to get to the studio so they can open the door. But I was literally recording some stuff, so which is why I want a face full of makeup. I feel kind of silly at the moment. But. What's up, you guys? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy, y'all. I am is up you guys so i have been pitter patting around um just kind of been up and down doing some work and then i was going to take a nap i literally laid down to take a nap i don't think i even messed up my makeup but i laid down to take a nap nap didn't i mean the nap happened kind of but not really it happened enough to the point that i feel like i got my sleep out but yeah i don't know what's up you guys so i am preparing to make dinner i'm making me salmon tonight i bought a bunch of like salmon fillets so i didn't put them in the freezer so i'm like i have to make them now <laughs> so i'm just gonna set up to cook and then once i prepare dinner i am going to do my nails let me show you guys i got more nail colors in the mail and that's just because i've been going on a tangent and just like buying a bunch of stuff so these are the newest colors right here. Um, so I got, this is white, white bunny. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a very pastel purple. Um, but this is the regular, I got it in the gel. And then I got this one called ocean black and it's literally just like a super black, black nail color. So this is what I'm gonna be putting on my nails is black. But I have been going back and forth between put it in neutral, which is a gel color by OPI, or this one. This is called Funny Bunny by OPI. And this one is like a milky white color. And I've been waiting for this. So I kind of want to go with this. But black is calling my name right now for some reason. So I might just go with the ocean black. But um, I did end up getting some cuticle oil. This is about Orly. And yeah, it's a cuticle and nail treatment oil. So I'm going to use this to put on my nails so like my little nail kit over here well not that but my nail kit which camera is just not focusing my nail kit is growing so which means i am going to have to look for some other type of container to store my nail stuff in because what is in right now clearly is just not enough <laughs> It's just not enough. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm gonna do a load of laundry. I gotta put some clothes in the dryer and then I have to put another load in the washing machine. I have so many clothes to wash. It's not even funny. I just posted a reel to my Instagram. I colored my hair. So I was super excited to show you guys that. I've been kind of like in this mode of like, there was one, one point in time where I wasn't trying to move in secret on social media. It's not like it was a secret, but you know how you just kind of save certain things for certain platforms. I was like, you know what? I'm just posting. <laughs> so that's what I did. I posted um, a reel regarding my hair color and I'm loving it and I'm super excited about this. I know I'm gonna have to like really be on it when it comes to like my deep conditionings, my weekly deep conditionings at that. I have to make sure I'm on it and make sure my hair is really, really, really getting what it needs in terms of moisture. And Grace and peace, everybody. Good morning. I wanted to officially close off the vlog. This vlog is already almost 30 minutes, so. I was like, that's a good stopping point. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know what y'all think about my hair color. I am getting ready to read the word. And I was telling you guys how I am in Exodus right now. I'm getting ready to, I believe I read 14. Sometimes if I go a day without reading, <laughs> I have to like go back a chapter just to remember. But one thing I will say that really helps me when I study and then I'm gone. Um is that after I read a section or a chapter or a passage or whatever, I literally say it back to God. I'd be like, all right, God, like, 
Okay, bet. So Moses, you know, did this and he was doing this, but he was also talking about like I have to that's how I have to study. I have to say it out loud. I have to basically like say it back to God. Um, just that way I know what I read and I comprehended what I read. So right now I'm reading the Message Bible and I I have my own method of studying. So like when I just want to read it kind of straight through and just understand and then kind of read more of a story as opposed to like scriptures, I will go to the Message Bible just to kind of get through the storyline. And then I'll go back and kind of dissect everything. And then I use my Tony Evans Commentary Bible, which is linked in my Amazon storefront if you are... I'm interested guys if y'all reading the word and stuff that's probably one of the best purchases you will make read that commentary book but yeah so I'm gonna get into the word a little bit I'm finishing up some work as well but yeah soon as I submit this last little bit I'm getting into the word and then I have a few things to do I have my handyman Cornelius coming by the studio today he has to finish up some backdrops for me we have to adjust my backdrop thing He's finally available. Man of God is out here working, okay? So he's finally available for me. Um, so he's gonna come back today, I think around one, and adjust my backdrop thing because I got some new backdrop colors. Super excited. And I didn't wanna have to cut those shorter just to fit how the bracket is up there now so he can move the bracket over for me. Anyway, I want to officially close up the vlog and let you guys know I really appreciate you guys. I had got a, um, yes, I seen a comment that said, what happened to Tuesday's video? If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post, I think, early, 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 early that morning, I think like six o'clock in the morning early. And I was like, no new video today. And I linked the playlist and stuff. So if you're not following me on IG, you probably missed that post. But yeah, I did have to skip Tuesday's video just because one I've been working on campaigns and stuff and I'm being honest with you I didn't have a lot of vlog footage and I was not about to post like a 10 minute vlog so I was just like I'm gonna just skip Tuesday but we're back on schedule don't worry don't worry don't worry we're good um still same schedule uh Tuesday and Saturday 10 a.m eastern standard time no worries so I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video bye